Welcome to our lesson on solving problems involving right angle triangles. So in this question, we've been asked to work out the length of BC, which is this length here. And because it is opposite the right angle, this is the hypotenuse. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem, where this length is 4, which is B to D, and the base length is 5. So Pythagoras' theorem tells us that 4 squared plus the 5 squared will equal the hypotenuse squared. 4 squared plus 5 squared is 41, which is the square of the hypotenuse. So we'll take the square root of both sides, the square and the square root will cancel. So the hypotenuse is approximately 6.4 centimetres. So now we're going to work out part two, which is the angle D to A to B, which is this angle here. We'll sketch another right angle triangle. We know the base between A to D is three, and between D to B is four. And because we're trying to work out this side, we need to label the sides of a triangle. This side is opposite the angle, so we call it the opposite and this side runs adjacent between the two angles so this is the adjacent and to work out the angle we can either use sine which is the opposite of the hypotenuse cos which is the adjacent of the hypotenuse or tan which is the opposite of the adjacent and we're going to use tan because we have then two sides so the tangent, or tan, of theta, which is the angle, is the opposite, which is 4, divided by the adjacent, which is 3. We'll do the inverse of tan, which is arc tan, or 10 to the negative 1. We'll do it to both sides, and these will cancel. So theta is the arc tan of 4 over 3, which is 53.1 degrees. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to try this question yourself? Well, you can calculate the length of E to G and the angle F to H to E. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So to work out the length E to G, we're going to use the big right angle triangle where we have E to F to G. We know this length is eight, and we know the angle is 30 degrees. And we've been asked to work out the hypotenuse. So again, we'll label the sides. Well, the eight is opposite the angle and we've been asked to work out the hypotenuse. So we're going to use the sine of the angle theta is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So sine of 30 is equal to eight divided by h. We'll move the h to the other side by multiplying it by both sides. So we have h sine 30 is equal to 8. We'll divide both sides by sine 30. So h is equal to 16 centimeters. Now to work out f to h to e, I need to work out the length f to g because then I can work out F to H. So F to G is this length here. And I know this length is 16. So now I can use Pythagoras' theorem, where 16 squared minus V8 squared will be F to G squared. 16 squared minus 8 squared is 192, which we can square root to work out the length as approximately 13.9. So because f to g is 13.9, we can work out f to h, which is the difference between f to g and the nine centimeters, which is 4.9. So now I can work out angle h using this right angle triangle highlighted in green. And because we've been given the opposite, which is the eight, the adjacent, which is 4.9, we're going to use tan. So the tan of the angle theta is the opposite, which is eight, 
divided by the adjacent, which is 4.9, will take the arctan of both sides. These will cancel, so theta will be the arctan of 8 divided by 4.9, which works out as approximately 58.5 degrees. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.